you ever felt. Are you listening? With veganism on the rise, Generation Vegan interviews the up and coming hottest vegans. And in this podcast, we teach you the practical side of having a plant based diet. Today, we are talking to the Ulm Twins. They are super inspirational and they are going to change the vegan game down in Mexico. You are going to fall in love with these girls, so let's just go ahead and jump on in. So, um, welcome back to Generation Vegan, everyone. I am so sorry. I'm just going to pre-apologize because last night I was out with my cousins, and so super unprofessional of me, but I barely made it to this interview, and I know one of y'all were saying that y'all kind of had a fun light n- night last night, too, so yeah, just bear so with both of us. <laughs> yeah, I feel you. <laughs> And today we're talking to the Ohm Twins. They are the sexiest people I think I've had on here so far in the vegan market. And they're 25 fit model uh, twins. And they have been featured in many magazines. And they inspire over 20,000 people uh, with the combination of all their social medias, which is so insane. I mean, just to be a vegan with that many followers is insane. And these are the first Spanish-speaking vegans that I've had on the show. So I'm just excited to jump in. I would love for y'all to tell me about yourself and why y'all went vegan and how long y'all been on your journey and everything. All right. All right. Well, well, hello, I'm Jillian, and my name is Eileen, and we're better known as the Young Twins. And first, we just want to thank you for having us here in Generation Vegan. And also, we want to thank all of our followers on Instagram and IG. We're feeling the love. We're getting all the comments. Thank you so much. And I hope you like it. Yes. Uh, first of all, we want to uh, apologize if our English is not the best sometimes, <laughs> but uh, we're we're working through yes, it. Yeah. Exactly. So bear with us, and hopefully uh, you'll all enjoy this interview with us. Um, I think we have to go back like six years ago. Uh, I first was a vegetarian thanks to my sister's husband, Adam Jenny. Hello. Hello. <laughs> watching. And well, he introduced me first to the vegetarian lifestyle. He's been vegetarian almost all his life. He's really healthy and conscious, like about healthy stuff. And well, he he just gave me the little push. And then I was just uh, browsing on the internet. And I was on YouTube, and I stumbled upon this amazing video. Um, it's the best speech you'll ever hear about Gary Jodorowsky, and that just changed my life. Oh yeah, my God, it was a breaking point from there. And I'm so happy. It's been almost three years since I went vegan. I was just like calling my sister as she was like traveling. Yeah, I was not with her when she became, when she did all this. Um, so when she first went uh, vegetarian, I was not pretty on board. Like uh, I'm ashamed to say that I was, I did not understand at all. And when she said she was going vegan, I was like, what is that? Like I didn't even knew the word. I didn't know anybody that was vegan until this point. She's the only vegan that I really hang out in real life because we don't know any Mexican vegans here. Uh, and yeah, out. I had a little bit of fault because of that because when I was a vegetarian, I'm a, a little bit like I, I didn't eat anything good. Like I wasn't a healthy vegetarian. I, I didn't eat fruits or veggies. I used to eat a lot of processed foods, yeah. uh, dairy, eggs, all of that. But I thought I was doing the right thing, you know? And when I saw this video, I was like, blown away like it was so crazy how they walk you through what's really going on in slaughterhouses or dairy farms like it's crazy and i was like just trying to push my sister to it and it's funny because we had this project it was starting yeah. to bloom um so it was just starting and uh the main like the first idea was to do like this <laughs> she was gonna be the vegan twin and i was gonna be like the meat oh, eater yeah. twin you know they was this was almost like a year and a half ago so uh, when we started doing this, she was really smart playing her cards, and she put me this video, and uh, I, I was like, she ripped the band out of my head, like I. So I, I became vegetarian for six months. It was super quick for me, six months, and then I went full vegan. But it was thanks to her that she already knew like how to cook and everything, and made me scramble tofu instead oh, yeah. of eggs. So. And vegan pancakes, all that. So, yeah. Okay. yeah. Well, y'all, re- y'all remind me, I definitely want to get your recipe for the vegan sc- scrambled tofu for all the followers and listeners because I suck at that and I need your help. Yes, and it's we really know good. this Mexican uh, type of it, like um, is scrambled tofu that it's, it's Mexican style. To, exactly. So. And it, it goes with a lot of veggies and it's really good. And you just add some curcuma and just to make the, the, the look and the color. It, it's, it's like if you were having scrambled like eggs, it's crazy. 
It's really good. <laughs> That's so awesome. So we got a question from the Fitness Factory. It's basically what we just said, but it's why did you become vegan? And what was that deciding moment? So was there ever like a specific, do you remember a specific meal where it was kind of like you were eating meat or, or dairy because you were already vegetarian? You're like, you know what? This is it. I'm done. Well, it was all because of the animals. Like uh, we we used to watch. I think every weekend has been there that you just start watching our uh, cruelty videos and what's going on. And I was like, no hell no, I don't want to be a part of it. And, and for me, it was really uh, crazy. I had this experience. I used to go diving a lot, and I already had this talk with Jillian. And um, and then I went back to Playa to dive. And um, and I was I every time that they uh, over like they sometimes killed fish, you know. But it was normal to me. Like I was um, after I saw that video with Jillian, it was horrible. Like just it, it was seeing it with another set of eyes. Like it, I could see the struggle and the pain and everything. I was like, I cannot do this anymore. Like not 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 a uh, fish or anything. Like yeah, it was like living it right there. So yeah. that I was breaking point. <laughs> Why do you feel like um, it's so, I wouldn't say hard because just a little bit of background on me, like I, I was a bodybuilder and I'm a super nice person. Like I could never kill even bugs or like spiders and I live in the country and I'm always like releasing spiders and wasps and all stuff, but I could eat chicken and steak. So it's like, why? Like, why is it so hard for people to break that disconnect yeah. to be that? Yeah, we understand that. And we're always, like, posting on Snapchat really funny videos of us. We were, like, have super crazy phobia with spiders. But we can't kill them. Like, we, I don't know. When you but make I, a connection, yeah, yeah, I understand. Like, people don't make that connection. Or they're super sad about dogs and cats being... Um, exactly, and um, mistreated, and they go eat a uh, steak. Like it's it's ridiculous, but um, it's what we have to do as vegans. And I think like there's a change. Like it's actually happening, and people are more open. And yeah, so yeah, it's amazing to be a part. We're of this. happy to be a part of this mo movement. So <laughs> that's so cool. I truly do feel like we jumped in at the perfect time because with technology and the internet, like it is rapidly growing, and I'm. I'm honored to be, you know, where I'm at and where I'm honored to like be talking to y'all and us even be connected. And it's just so freaking cool what technology has done for us. Oh, well, I know it's amazing. It's our time to take care of the world and everything. <laughs> right. Which is insane because even when you were in, I know for me, when I was in middle school and elementary school, we would always have, you know, uh, I forget what, the, like assemblies, like where you would all go into the gym and they would be like, okay, this is how you save electricity. And this is how you turn off the lights when you leave the room. And this is how you use less water when you're brushing your teeth. And what? really at the end of the day, if we were vegan, honestly, we could leave the lights on and leave the water running because we're saving so much. More. Vegan. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, they should be teaching us all that. In Mexico, you can hear like on the radio while you're driving, like, all these type propaganda. of things, yeah, propaganda that tells you how to switch to green bulbs and all that, and it's like, and they're just telling you the, stop the eating animals, that's it. Yeah. Right, it's so weird, and it's actually like, uh, I feel like I'm in the twilight zone a lot of the time. Totally. So we actually got another question from the Fitness Factory, and he seems to just be right on point with like where we're going, but he asked, could you ever date a non-vegan or someone with the, without without the same morals, like how do y'all feel about that? They've been there, so it's um, like um, we personally don't haven't met a vegan man in real life, you know. But we're really hoping, like um, so. Yes, I, mean, <laughs> I I was in a uh, uh, my past relationship was uh, really like now I know it was a learning experience because uh, um, it was my first relationship. Now that I'm like, hardcore vegan. <laughs> so um, being with somebody that did not understand what was I going to do, and he was always yeah, negative about me being super uh, radical or crazy, or it was just like, man, I cannot deal with this. Like next time, I really hope I can date a vegan or at least somebody that's on the way to becoming like open to, like I couldn't, I would never date somebody that would be like, no, 
because that leaves no future for kids or anything. Like I could not raise that kid that was not vegan or so yeah, definitely vegan men for us. Now we're single, so we're this is the first time yeah. that has actually happened. I've always been into really long term relationships and I, I was one well, I was I'm being, being really lucky, right? I, so yeah. I've uh, I could never date again someone that's not vegan. So we're in the same the same track. So <laughs> for now, yeah, we can We'll be each other's dates for now. <laughs> oh, yeah, to some vegan man after you in Mexico. <laughs> too, too quick. So, I yeah. haven't heard one vegan, of vegan that. factory can come to Mexico too. <laughs> <laughs> if you could speak Spanish, work out, be vegan, and awesome, that would be great. No. <laughs> <laughs> So I actually uh, have been single as well. Like it seems like every vegan that I've interviewed on here, unless they're married, um, they're single. How weird is that? And I don't know if that's because we're all right raising our consciousness. And like you said, you never met a real vegan man. To be honest with you, the reason I started this podcast is so I could talk to vegan, not just vegan men, but vegan people with, with muscles. I wanted to be surrounded by those type of people. So I'm going to have a vegan generation, vegan event at the end of this year. And I'm going to invite like all the people that I've interviewed and we're going to just have a party weekend. We're going to party as vegans and oh show people God. that you the bomb time, be sexy, save the plants, save the animals and be vegan. Oh. Like, you have to tell us in advance that we can book our flight and be there. Yes, yes, for sure. <laughs> How fun would that be? We could all go that to restaurants and everything. Being heaven. That would be the party of the year. Yeah, that would be amazing. <laughs> I love it. Okay, so just tell us a little bit about like your hardships. You know, when you were when you were first giving up your dairy and your meat, like what did you find the most hard to give up? And how did you overcome that with, you know, a certain item that you cooked or whatever? Well, I think uh, nowadays it's really easy to find like recipes. So like we always, like when I went vegan, I started uh, uh, looking a lot at this page. It's called Dimension Vegana or you know, Vegan Dimension in English. It's really good and they post amazing recipes. It's so easy. And, but for me, I think the first thing I, I was like, oh, it's gonna be so hard, it's cheese. Yeah. But it wasn't, like, um, I started making the connection and I started being like really strong with my beliefs. And when you put yourself in the victim's position, it's so easy, you know, like, you don't wanna be harming anymore. So it's like, just the second of taste compares to just like a, a, a lifetime of suffering, like, no, like, no, thank you. Exactly, so, yes. Yeah, Pretty easy for me like just to go like fully vegan after after that speech <laughs> yeah and for me it was eggs I was definitely uh, egg, uh, a lover <laughs> yeah I would have eggs every day three times a day so on the shakes and everything yeah right. so uh, for me eggs was the last like I could eat cheese and everything out but eggs was, was the last thing that I, I left but um, now that I know what eggs really are it's so disgusting so yeah, I wish I would have known better. Like, or, oh no, I just think about it right now. It's like, ugh. so yeah, we we switched it up with this scrambled tofu. Like she would make every morning scrambled tofu for me, so so I would not miss egg that much. <laughs> Well, I think the hardest thing for me was cheese. And I, like you said, it really, like, it was just a mental thing. Like, it really wasn't as hard as I thought it was going to be. And I can swear to you guys and everyone watching that I was your queso queen. Like, I was cheese queen. I love <laughs> cheese. So if I can do it, you guys can do it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, do you remember the exact speech uh, that that it was Gary's? Because I was gonna link it when I post this on YouTube. Yes, please do. It's the uh, it's called on YouTube. It's the best speech you will ever hear. Right. Of Gary Wolofsky, and it's in every kind of language. I think it's been translated, and it's he's amazing. Like we follow him so much, we admire all that he's done. Like for the vegan community, it's amazing. Hope we can can get in touch with so many people and motivate each other. Like he's yeah, he's amazing. So, you know how he's kind of like, he's not really super aggressive as Freely or someone on YouTube, but what's your style as far as promoting veganism? Are you a bit more aggressive? Are you more sit back and just be yourself? Like, how do you promote it? Yeah, this question, right? yeah. yeah like we try to be as, um, as personal. Yeah, personally, like we would love to be like more forward, more like aggressive. But here in Mexico, like I would like one of the 
first post that I did, it was something about um, yelling and all that, this, the dog on um, China and everything. And I was like, come on, people, open your eyes. It's the same mm -hmm. with uh, cats and, uh, well, with uh, cows and pigs and everything. And people Sorry. just wrote me on, on, my, on my inbox, like, oh, my God, you are so mean. And I was like, I'm not really, like, even telling you anything, like, directly to nobody. Like, it was just a post, and people were so offended by it. So, yeah, we try, like, on our own twin Facebook page to be, like, as nice and... We want to be understanding. We've been so, there. So, yeah, we don't want to never, like, people can close up. If they start to feel like super sweater. fast, so we don't want people to close on us uh, because we're like super aggressive. So well, we prefer yeah, them to to poquito poquito walk them through the you know. So but yeah, but we get a, this question a lot. Like, what kind of uh, YouTubers YouTubers do we follow? And we do like like that side. We we admire every kind of uh, activist, vegan, like uh, whatever their type is. They're trying to do something, you know. They're trying to change our cat. I'm sorry, she wants to get in the in the. And, but we, yeah, like if we got to, like, we love vegan games. Uh, we love uh, John Venus. It's amazing. Uh, uh, also, well, Gary Orozki, of course, and Bite Size Vegan. Yeah. Like, and really different types, you know? You can just get so much from everyone. And we just, we just like that so much. Like, <laughs> yeah, that's the same way I am. I really struggle with the balance of wanting to put every video that I've ever seen on Facebook and then also dealing with the backlash of like getting in Facebook fights and people calling me an idiot and then posting pictures of me. And it's just like I get so pissed off and then it's like I can't do anything with that anger because I'm on a computer. Yeah. And, and actually, <laughs> just got a question from the tatted vegan, which I'm already freaking out about that he's even watching this right now. Hey, um, <laughs> he says, have you ever, you know, been uh, attacked or like aggressively confronted while talking about veganism in person? And how do you handle that? Yeah, we've been kind of bullied sometimes. And like, uh, we actually have this experience at school. Yeah, we actually stopped going to, um, uh, public, school. public school because um, when we started going vegan, we well, we've been vegan, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, we, we started this uh, nutrition, we wanted to start a nutrition because uh, people always ask us about uh, vegan well, lifestyle. where do you get your protein and all that. So, we have the paper, like, we're like, you know, we're nutritionists, we can help you out, like, don't worry, right? So, but the problem is that when we went to class, there were so many teachers that would like right on the spot be like, you need meat, you need eggs and dairy. Like, so, and one of, a, one of them Especially. was really rude. Like the first time they were, like the first day out of the spot, it was like, I don't know if there's any vegetarians or vegans here, but I just want to tell you like, I don't believe in that crap. And if, if you do it for ethics, then like, she was so rude. And I was like, on the back, like, hey, we're ethical vegans, and it, was uh, even, it wasn't in that class, but the next class we went into our all my yeah. vegan outfits, and we we're, were ready <laughs> with our caps and everything, and it was it was really bad because we we don't like to like if you they're putting you on the spot, you know, you're like fighting with a teacher, and they're having all these classmates, like thirty people, and it looked like they just wanted us to like. All the classes, they just want, oh, where do you get the B12, or where do you get your protein, or, where you, or was, do you know that pants feel, and stupid, like, oh, so we would have yeah. these debates on class with this, uh, it got really tiring, yeah, so we prefer um, to make it everything easier, like, it was just getting a all of us, on. so now we switched to uh, online um, nutrition, and it's yeah. better, because it's, that way we can, we, we really keep busy, like, we're always, working and training people and this is what we love and and nutrition we, we don't want to we want to really finish you know this this career yeah, we don't want to have to deal, deal with close-minded people that you're never going to change so yeah so, so yeah we've been into aggressive confrontation and really people just trying to like personally attack us you know and it's insane because I, I don't know if y'all feel like this, but when I'm, I've gotten much better as I've gotten farther into my vegan journey, but my blood will be boiling on the oh. inside. I'm like, ah, that's how I feel on the inside, but on the outside, I'm like. <laughs> and it's hard when they start making the comments, like the last comment, like, oh, bacon is delicious or stuff like that. They don't even have, it's like, okay. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's just crazy that we get, um, mocked or bullied for just caring so much like it's 
but I don't know, like, you just, it's just at the beginning that you have to deal with all this. And I think, like you say, like, through your journey, you, you become like more strong and you just know when to say, okay, this is not worth it. And I'm not gonna even talk to you. Yeah. And something that's really helped us with like, with that case is that uh, the Instagram family, like, yeah. oh my God, we've right. gotten so much love. Like we're connecting with people like you, like it's we love so it. amazing that like, we get to talk to these amazing that they, they go through this, you know? So it's really a lot of, we're people. not alone. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> but they're all so far away. I, I know. That. Um, have you seen the uh, Nicole Nicole Arbor's Dear Vegans video? Oh, no, I could not watch it. 30 seconds, I was like, no. how could I even watch this? No, was, Vegan Gains actually just posted a video. And it was so that. good. I just hate that I know that uh, at least one friend on Facebook is going to send me that video being like, ha ha, like, oh, look I hate this. that. Yeah, this look at this. Up. I beat them to the punch. I posted that shit on my Facebook and I'm like, she did it. This is for all the haters. I'm posting it because I know you're going to send it to me or tag me in it. So screw off. I'm posting it first. Like, exactly. And I, really, and I really thought that she was going to make fun of vegans. Like, so I, I really found it like really just offensive. mean and offensive. Like yeah. she didn't even do her research. She just started attacking an industry. She doesn't even know what's going on, you know? Because yeah. I think I've seen so pretty, pretty much really good videos of people making fun. But it's life, you know, it's right about, yeah, we, we don't make fun of our animal, animal cruelty. cruelty. That's like, it's not fucking funny. Yeah, like, uh, I couldn't even, I watched the whole thing, but I definitely was pissed off. And then when I saw that Vegan Gains did it, I was, yes, I clicked yeah. on it. Also, <laughs> that was my same reaction. I was like, no. when I saw the video of Nicole, I was like, I like no, watch it. Vegan Gains was going to do it. I was even going to text him. And then the next day I saw it, I was like, yes, can't wait. That's amazing. <laughs> I wonder if she'll see it and maybe she'll make a response video or something. Oh, hopefully. hopefully. We're ready. <laughs> yes, we'll bash her. I've actually come up with this little analogy that basically vegans are, it's so weird because it's like a two-way mirror. You know how you can see through one side, but the other side is just a reflection back at you. And vegans are on the other side of the mirror and all the non, I say non-vegans, but they're a very non-ignorant non-vegans who just don't want to go vegan they know what's going on they just don't care which i respect because it's like okay you know you just don't care which is whatever yeah. but the ones that are just ignorant and make stupid comments like that it's like they're looking at this mirror back at them and they're like saying all this stuff and we're on the other side looking through the mirror like what are you talking about we don't do any of that like we are like good people why are y'all making fun of us all the time exactly. It's you know the trouble, <laughs> but it's good to be on that side. So <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't want it any other way. So. so we actually got another question from Fitness Factory. He is amazing, or she's amazing. Uh, do you guys use supplements, and if so, what kind? Yes, we do. You want me to go get? get yeah, it's easy. Uh, we we use a protein powder, uh, Bergman. Um, it's uh, non-soy, no dairy, nor anything. It's Mexican. We love it because we we everything like we buy here in Mexico. It's pretty expensive because it, it has to come from states or something. So this is this is so cool that it's big Mexican. Shout out, big shout out to Protein Falcon, and they're gonna have like their own line of uh, B12 and all these other so vitamins. So we're super excited, and we're we use we were uh, having uh, carnitine and glutamine. But now we've started um, preparing to get on stage on August, we're gonna do and it we're doing it with Torrey Washington, and he's completely he's natural. Out. Yes, he's amazing. He's um, and he just told us like we don't need all that. Like if we feel comfortable just leaving it. Uh, so this was our first week that we didn't buy any amino acids or anything. So we're feeling good. We're, yeah, we're excited to. Uh, save some money and uh, don't have to use all that so yeah hopefully we'll just have to use our protein because we love it we really do and don't have to have anything else and that's actually an amazing logo it's so badass yes the protein right the Birdman. <laughs> so in Mexico like what is the um not the ratio of vegans, but is it kind of a thing? Are there other Mexican vegans? And does you speaking Spanish help really like dive into that community? 
Well, I feel um, here it's a pretty close, like, well, at least here in Querétaro where we live, it's pretty close-minded people. Like, uh, we've found people that don't even know what vegan is. Exactly. And obviously, speaking Spanish helps because we get to connect. And, and we get a lot of people just really, like, amazed and really wanting to know more about the lifestyle, no? So we're always happy to help. So. Yeah, so they mainly reach us, like, on the gym or because they want to get in shape. And then when they realize that we're vegan, like, they're like, oh, my God, like, tell us oh, more. So, it. yeah, but um, it's always, like, uh, we've, we've never, like, really met a vegan person here in Querétaro yet. No, but uh, Mexico City, that's a, a bigger city. It's, like, three hours away, uh, does have a... Um, and the activism there is yeah. going crazy. Like we always get invitations for direct action, and we want to be uh, actually in two weeks. There's gonna yeah. be a protest. So There's hopefully we'll be there, and we'll get to connect with more Mexicans yeah. that are vegan. So yeah, hopefully yeah. It's, right, it's because I couldn't imagine. Like I, I just I don't even think I know any Mexicans that are vegan to be like yeah. in, in, in America, <laughs> except for you guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. Hear people like uh, we were really excited when we heard that Mexico banned like animals from circus. That was a really big step for us. But still, they like bullfighting, and we actually did a radio interview, and it was oh, so like yeah, we, we got to talk about. They told us like you can talk about anything you want, and we obviously veganized the radio. Yeah, we were like we're gonna talk vegan. Yeah, and, um, and then the other people that were uh, going after us, they showed up and they were bullfighters. And oh my God, the first thing they did, they, they told us, they were like, I love animals, but I support this. It's like, what? Can you hear yourself? Like we were like, okay, we're, we're, we're done. not going to even try to no. not, not even say hello. Like, That's like saying, I love children, but I also rape them. Exactly. Yeah. Thank you. But if you say something like that, the one that turns to be like the bad guy is you. So. Yeah. So we were like, okay. No, not enough time they have to do their radio. Yeah, I think here but... in Querétaro, what really helped us connect with people in the community is showing them our before and after pictures. Like, yes. th that's where they can really know, you know, because um, when I started going vegan, like, I was really, with the, the vegetarian lifestyle that I had, I was really skinny, like, so, so skinny, not a curve in my body or anything. No. And when I show them what really veganism has done for me, and obviously weightlifting, I feel I have more energy, they, I think you just have to show them with like you know results and actions. It's much better. That's actually what hooked me on you guys when I was like going through your profile and everything, and then I saw your before and after. I said, "Holy shit!" <laughs> okay, hello. Yes, I need them on my podcast right now. Yes. Oh my god. Yeah, I was the other side. Like, uh, she was really, really skinny, but I was fat skinny. Like, I, I used to have a lot of uh, visceral fat. It was, it was bad. My, co my, um. Uh, her fat percentage, it was so high, and I didn't know this. Like, I was always comfortable with the so sexy. Yeah, oh my god, <laughs> I have this uh photo that now I'm so grateful. Two years ago, like walking on the beach topless and all that, and like showing around. Oh my god, I see those pictures now, and I'm like, oh god, like <laughs> thinking, but it was good because now I can compare and be like, wow, that was me like, not I eating good, just relying on my. Um, how to say genetics? Yeah, so we always ask people to take the before and after, after pictures because I don't have any. Like it's really hard to because I was really shy. Well, I'm still really shy. I was even more. <laughs> so I never took any pictures of my body or anything. And now I wish I had. You know, like right. it's like finding gold. <laughs> yeah. So exactly, veganism has helped us all in you know, so many ways. Like yeah. crazy. More than weightlifting and everything, like veganism, we think is the key for for what we've uh, okay. earned. Yeah, right. And I'm I'm the same way. I actually we, we have another question, but I'm gonna say this really quick. I I've been getting in a, a few Facebook and Instagram fights, and I never brought up the fact because I got sick right after my first bodybuilding show. I did it completely wrong, and I also got. Uh, my breast done i got a boob job and i think the combination of the two completely whacked out my whole body and i ended up getting uh, rheumatoid arthritis which i couldn't walk for four months uh i couldn't I, had, I literally had to take a year off of life like i couldn't move i couldn't leave my house and it was just really intense and i went on this chemotherapy not for cancer but for autoimmune diseases and then uh, I started, they said I was going to have to be on it for the rest of my, my life. And I'm like, absolutely not. I'm 25. Yeah. 
thing. And so I started doing all this research and I found out dairy was like a massive cause and I was eating healthy. I was eating yogurts and parfaits and I was doing tacos with like a little cheese on it because it was fitting my macros. And, and then once I literally cut out the dairy, I felt so good. And then I, I literally took myself off the chemotherapy. My doctor was like, no, you need to stay on it, even though I was obviously better. Then yeah. I started taking away the meat. And then it was just like, literally, I've been medicine free for almost. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah, it, it was such an amazing journey, but it's just so offensive to me when people make fun of a lifestyle that saved my life. Exactly. You let your food be your medicine. That's awesome. Exactly. Yeah. And so I never bring that up, though. When we fight, like on Instagram and stuff, I just, you know, pull the facts about veganism. But recently, I've been saying, you know, look, you're going to be ignorant about the, that. That's fine. This is my life and it saved my life and I'll tell my whole story. And I've been getting apologies. Never have I ever gotten apologies on a a social yeah. media fight. Do you, also, do you also get a lot of hate on Instagram? So much. Well, so what I've been doing recently is really detoxing my life of negative people. So I've been setting vegan traps and like I'll post something and if someone's ignorant or ridiculous enough to say, oh, well, plants have feelings. I'm like, yeah. oh. Okay. Well, that's good. We should do that. We should definitely. Yeah. I mean, because I'm sure I, I'm sure y'all have over five thousand friends, and I'm sure y'all have people in your inbox waiting to be your friend. And it's like, why am I allowing this one person I don't even know to stay on my timeline when all these other people want to be my friends? Like, bye, no. Yeah, it's crazy. But we've we've been doing like um, there's a lot of groups in Facebook like Vegans United and Vegan Humor and all that, and I love that they do this uh, vegan uh, friend bomb or something. So if you do it, like, you get so many vegan requests, and it's so cool to finally have vegan friends on Facebook, like, even though we don't never are going to meet each other or whatever. But uh, it's cool because now on my news page, I have, like, vegan posts and vegan stuff. Like, I love it. What are these groups? Because not only am I going to tag them, but I'm going to go be a part we're gonna, of them. We're gonna, uh, how do you say a joint, uh, Send you a request so you can join? Yeah, it's uh, uh, Vegans, vegans United, United, and Vegan Humor is so funny. Yes. Like, they post the most crazy stuff yeah so it's cool it's a oh, break what? from all the cauliflower how to oh, confuse yeah. a vegan crap and all that yeah we got that amendment like a hundred times yeah. that was crazy like, it's not funny anymore <laughs> it's only funny one time <laughs> exactly god so the question that we got was from miss frances francesca francesca i'm sorry miss osmond <laughs> and she asked do you help mm -hmm. at any animal shelters Yes, I used to be actually well into it. One was not a, an animal shelter, it was Feed the Hungry, like for my human humanitarian side. <laughs> and then I was in, in like two to three years in a, an animal shelter. He used to come with me, and it was a dog shelter. And oh my god, like it was in San Miguel. And it's where she adopter, adopted her two, two puppies <laughs> and one of my cats. Oh. Yes. And uh, now we're planning on moving to the beach, some uh, hopefully in two or three months. And we're researching one of the biggest centuries that are in uh, Playa del Carmen and Cancun and all that. So we're yeah, hoping really we can be part of it every Saturday. So we're we're still uh, talking to the people that are there and everything on how we can like be a part of it once we move to to the beach. So yeah, definitely we wanna we wanna be more supportive in that side and more activist and more involved everything yeah i think also be uh, mighty vegan gives donations for every purchase so that that's amazing when you can make with brands that are really trying to help the environment the animals the planet so and so the mighty vegan that i'm going to tag the link to that just in case anyone wants to go buy hats or support that yes we uh we also recommend you also this brand uh we we're not showing right now it's uh motivation wear uh, they also have a, uh, they just launched a new vegan line, which is amazing, Next Level Vegan. And they've been so supportive of us. They're so amazing, too. So Mighty Vegan and Motivational Wear have all our love and support always. They've been yeah. with us since day one. So, yeah, we just feel so grateful. So blessed. <laughs> I got both of those tagged or I, whenever someone's watching this online, y'all can just click the link on the description below and it will take y'all straight to the website because I, I think supporting veganism, com vegan companies, and I also think wearing hats, like that hat is so badass 
and then you thank know, you it, we have in so many colors and beanies and everything like yes you know, i need one yes, yes. So we, we need to give you one <laughs> We can like we can like make little goodie bags for our Generation Vegan event. That's that would be so cool with their shirt. Next level vegan and, and the, cookies. The, the cookies. What are the cookies? Oh, they're vegan cookies. Larry and oh ben, my God. yeah, Larry and Jerry. Or what was the name? Lenny and Larry. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That would be amazing. We could, uh, we could do a photo shoot with like vegan, uh, like all of us, like just jacked up and. That would be awesome. Yes, yes, I love that. <laughs> this is going to be awesome. We actually got another question from Fitness Factory, and he asked, "Would you? What would you say is your biggest accomplishment to date? You know, each one of you separately." Well, I think on points, it's a pretty big accomplishment because people, when we started, didn't believe in us. They just thought it was like, "Oh, they're just doing a little project. That's that's nice, you yeah. know. Oh, them at the gym." <laughs> yeah, they didn't really believe that we wanted this like for something long term, you know, for life. And we started training, we started like proving everybody that you can really get places doing this, you know, about veganism and, and just following your passion and all that. And well, for me, it was uh, competing uh, last yeah. year on mm -hmm. August for uh, bodybuilding. I was the first vegan bodybuilder to ever step on stage for 43 years that had been done here in Querétaro. So, yeah, it was amazing. I was wearing my green bathing suit and everything. Jillian was on the crowd with her vegan. Uh, I crazy. went crazy. Yeah. Oh, my God. I would send you the video, but it's me screaming on the top of my lungs. <laughs> <room. laughs> it's so fun. So now we're preparing to do it together um, as a screen on stage. And so hopefully uh, I'll get first and no, she'll get <laughs> second. <laughs> Are you all nervous about it? Oh, well, I not, am. Well, yeah, we're ready. we're nervous about stepping on stage, but not about who's gonna win or not. Like we're we're not in there to win because uh, they've told us, right? Like uh, you're never gonna win if you don't take like uh, like anabolic or steroids or all that. Like, yeah. but we wanna do it completely natural, no nothing, and so and we know we know that we Tori Washington's like help and support. We're, we're gonna make it. Like we have the best team. We feel so so good. Like it's always only been like one week. Yeah, and we're starting to see all the changes, and it's, it's great. It would be really cool if, because I'm gonna step on stage too as a vegan. I like I said, I did one body show, but I was not a vegan. I'm so disappointed about that now. <laughs> no, I mean I don't regret it, but you know what I mean. Like I wish I yeah. could just re represent it. And so when I step on stage, I'm gonna figure out some way to t like write vegan on my body. Like I want to write vegan on my leg or something, or like. Well, give you us a tattoo or something, right? Like right, right there. I think we're going to get tattoos, right? Tattoos. Yeah. We're, we're planning on our vegan tattoo. We don't know where we're going to get it, but it's going to be somewhere. Maybe in our booty because we always <laughs> take booty shots. So, <laughs> so you love the booty <laughs> shots. Well, so do I. So don't ever stop posting them. I'm pro booty shot. Yes. <laughs> so um, I actually, when I got sick, I lost 22 pounds of muscle. And so now I'm going to rebuild my body. Like, I just got back in the gym last week. And so I'm, like, ready to. Congrats. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. So <laughs> the girl loves guns. <laughs> yeah. Well, I saw, uh, I was watching some of your YouTube videos, and I noticed that y'all post, y'all, um, you measure out everything very specifically. I didn't know if y'all did that 100% of the time. I didn't know if y'all just did those for the videos. And how much do you think that has attributed to your results? So much. Um, well, we've been doing it like a month and a half. Just like uh, before that, we didn't do it. And we would just like uh, do it like, oh, this is four ounces. And just like, this looks like a cup. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so um, when we bought this scale, uh, we we – we learned that we were under eating. It was crazy that like we were already felt that we were eating a lot. And uh, now that we're waiting everything, like it's crazy how much like we eat, we were not eating enough. So, and we feel so good. Yeah. 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 It's, it's awesome when you know exactly what's going into your body and everything. So, and it's easier to know what's making you feel a certain way, you know, like, yeah. It's amazing, and we've really seen the booty, the gains, and muscle, and more on our on our abs and, and abdomen, like feel leaner. Yeah, we feel leaner and everything. So yeah, we definitely um, recommend it. recommend to 
to do all the weight. And, and for us, it's really fun, you yeah. know, to be like super sick. <laughs> oh, it's for you, just that. <laughs> Uh, what what uh, is your sign? What are y'all signs? Scorpio. Scorpio. Okay, that's super interesting. Well, we we're actually, actually had, born, uh, we're actually born on Vegan Day, first, first of November. November. Come yeah. on, dude, that's so amazing. Yeah, that's so amazing. <laughs> that's crazy. Yeah, when we heard about it, it was like really wow. Yeah, yeah. Mother Nature knew. <laughs> she said, "I'm going to put these twins here because they're going to change the world." <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, a lot of time. Yes. <laughs> so we actually, uh, your friend Mrs. Osmond, she says, "So proud to be your friend. You girls rock." And then Hello. she's so cute. That's so sweet of her. Yeah, thank you, Leslie. <laughs> okay, I'll call her Leslie instead of Mrs. Osmond because that sounds like <laughs> I don't know, a school teacher or something. <laughs> And then uh, the fitness factory asked, "What is your favorite animal?" My favorite elephant. Yeah, From forever I've been an elephant fan. We even have the masks and everything. <laughs> yeah, is that part of your logo a little bit? Exactly. Yeah. Well, um, we, the logo has changed so, so crazy. Much. Like, but but it, it grew always with stays. us. But yeah. it always stays like an elephant. Yeah. yeah uh, we we wanted to do the Om twins be, uh, with the elephant because of uh, the Om Ganesh and everything, and um, it's it's so powerful. And now that we know that the elephant is like a super symbol for veganism, it's like wow. It was always like maybe meant to be like. Yeah, and for her it has been bulls. Right? Yeah, I love bulls. I don't know. It's always well, yeah. It was it was hard when we were little. Like my mom or dad would buy us buy me an elephant, and they would buy her like something like a cow, cow or something, and they were like, we cannot find a stuffed bull. Like where can we buy toys for her? Yeah, it's funny. That yeah. is so freaking cute. I love you guys. So. Uh, <laughs> Someone said, or not someone, I will say, Fitness Factory says, I would marry Alina. Well, I you. I would marry you too. This is a yes for me. It's a yes, it's a yes. I have a right here. You're <laughs> me a witness. So uh, we've only got 15 minutes left. Like, it's already been 46 minutes. I cannot even believe it. Oh, we made it. <laughs> Girl, I'm like on the verge of throwing up, to be honest with you. <laughs> So yeah, I want to ask you all the like remaining questions. One of them is like, what is your brand vision? What do you want to do with your brand? Like, what do you see yourself in five years? Um, we really want to be like uh, known here in Mexico for yes. a vegan, healthy fitness lifestyle because we believe like it's be it's uh, growing so much in states, but we don't have any like in Mexico uh, po positive uh, women or at least women here in Mexico like. Every time they hear like, oh, well, we are into bodybuilding, like people here get like, what? Like, don't get too big or don't get too manly, whatever. So yeah. we want to break these taboos that's and around stereotypes, yeah. that's around veganism and um, fitness, and combine them and, and hopefully be a role model for more people here in Mexico, because uh, we know that people are open and like we just have to go back to our roots, like. Um, our main plate is like beans and rice and veggies and all that. Like yeah. in Mexico, it's so easy to be it's vegan. It's so easy. Like, you don't have all the crazy like mocks and uh, all those brands, but you could really be like raw, raw vegan, vegan almost. Or you have, have avocados a whole year and like everything, like every plant and food that you think Perfect. of can be so easy and so cheap. <laughs> exactly, and it's so much cheaper. Like we know it's a little bit more expensive maybe to go raw vegan state or right but here in mexico is so easy like so yeah we really hope that we can uh, connect this be part of this amazing movement here in mexico so that's why we're planning on maybe moving to tulum because we know that's uh one of the biggest places to be right now for veganism so yeah that's our <laughs> hope we want to be in bikini well, time too <laughs> yes <laughs> that too <laughs> it's well, so insane because go ahead Oh, and uh, also we want to la uh, launch our uh, oh yes our web page. That's also something that we hope we can get this done. Like yeah, she's been working so hard on it. <laughs> so uh, hopefully it'll be done, and we can share more of our fitness routines and challenges and everything that has Let's keep growing a little bit. Like yeah, everything that's good for us that have that we've tried, we want to like share 
Yeah, so hopefully that's us in, in 20 years. <laughs> Like, let's say uh, people do want to try the vegan thing, but they don't ever cook at home. So, like, the, let's say they want to go to a restaurant, whether that be a Mexican, Italian, whatever. How do y'all tell them to order? Well, I think it's really easy to be vegan here. Like, people always make excuses, but here it's so easy just to ask people, just leave out the chicken. Because here in Mexico, they cook with so many fruits and veggies. And yeah. so you just have to order a big plate of really colorful food and like even if you go to your taco place like I've, I've done it like after the party and everything everybody wants to go for tacos okay so you go and you order your tortilla your beans and your rice and then you order something something like else some potatoes some or exactly so it's, it's easy it's just that people uh want to know when they're closed and they're like nope there's no way we can do it like you cannot really yeah, but we trick people like we we went to this place on on playa del carmen a really amazing cook and you you have this thing in mexico comida corrida i don't know how to say it in english but it's like a bunch of typical foods and you just eat a lot and we went to this place it said vegan like and we're like oh my god and she was like oh we have uh, chorizo, chorizo and chicharro, all these meat stuff and we're like what it says vegan on the front and it was it was, it was, it was seitan, made up seitan, but it felt and taste it and look exactly like meat like she she's been tricking people so many years thinking they're eating meat but they're actually eating plant-based foods and you know like restaurant in mexico yeah well, in, in um in Playa. no in puerto morelos well, yeah. in puerto morelos it's so Yo, good fitness factory asks have you ever had a chance to meet an actual elephant um well i'm not proud of it yeah when i was little we they took us to a uh, circus and I even, it's crazy because I was about six and I still remember her name. It was Lucy the elephant. And they took us on her and I'm we were sad. like on we top like of her. So freaked out. And yeah, and I remember we were so sad, sad. Like you it was not a nice feeling uh, at all. So to the day I still remember her, but um, yes. hopefully now I'll get to see one in the wild or in, and not on, on on how they used to be everywhere on documentaries. It's so sad now watching Animal Planet or anything. And everything, everything is dangerous. Yeah, exactly. The of extinction. I know. I actually remember going to the zoo, too, either with my class for, like, a field trip or with my mom or something. And I remember feeling like crap leaving. Like, I just knew that the animals were not meant to be there. I knew the animals were sad. And I was like, this isn't fun for me. Like, I don't yeah. it's not that... I wanted to like leave because I was having a fun, good, good time in a weird way. But it's like I knew that they were sad, and I didn't know there was anything I could do about it. I guess. Yeah, crazy. Well, uh, there is maybe y'all could go to. I think it's in Thailand or whatever where they swim with the elephants. Oh my God! Yes, yes, I would, that would be heaven. <laughs> that would be amazing. Yes. Uh, my neighbors actually just brought their, took their kids to the zoo, and I just had to keep my mouth shut because they're not vegan at all. Yeah. Not interested in being vegan at all. And I'm just oh God! Like, we're like, <laughs> have a great time. Yeah, have a great time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sometimes that happens. <laughs> so I really like to help you know the the followers, the viewers watching, to connect with y'all. So. Um, I'd like to make y'all vulnerable a little bit. Like, have y'all ever messed up? Um, not cheat days, but actually eating an animal product, whether you knew it or you didn't know it. Like, was there ever a time that that happened? And how'd you deal with it? Well, I, I think we're, we, we both know we're not perfect. You know, we're always trying to, like, be the most vegan person that we can, you know? We've yeah. never done it on purpose, but I, I think what would be, like, well, your little horrible. Oh well, kids. yeah. Well, that wasn't my fault. It was in a vegan restaurant that had vegan options, and well, and it also had all their vegetarian and stuff. And they had this amazing burger, veggie burger day, and I was like so excited. I was I was gonna go somewhere. I was with my ex boyfriend at the time, and I was I just ordered this amazing uh, lentil burger, and I asked every question there is like if the the bread was vegan, the mayonnaise they used vegan, everything they said yes. I I kept the waiter coming on and on like. They knew there was a vegan like freak out there eating, and I was like, okay. And he was like, okay, are you, you're sure it's vegan? Sure. Like you can eat. And I just dive in. I almost like pulled the burger in my face. I felt like it was so amazing. And then the waiter just comes and she looks at me and she's like, oh my god, I'm sorry. I was like, no, 
She was like, the bread and the the mayo, the, the mayo well, it's not vegan. Oh my God, I just rushed the bathroom. I had some horrible sense in my pit. Was, I just threw we it all up everything. and I just heard my ex-boyfriend. Like he was so Screaming. mad, going crazy at the kitchen. Like, this is not acceptable. You have to like, they were like super, so, like really, bad. like they asked, so many times it was good for me because then i went alone to the mm -hmm. restaurant and they thought i was her like so they treat me stuff. yeah <laughs> and i was like, like yes i'm super pissed <laughs> yeah it was no it was it was funny I, I didn't like it wasn't my fault but that was i think the last time i i, I was like nope I will, I will never go to feel better she cooks at home better <laughs> like no, i would only go to vegan planet we went to vegan planet on on playa and he was so amazing like just to walk into a restaurant and everything on the menu is vegan right. you don't have to worry like we were almost crying like we did yeah. a snapchat about it yeah it we love crazy. when that happens yeah and for me um yeah, I bought the chocolate and I didn't knew that gasa butrica was another word for uh, milk, milk, uh, fat milk, fat milk. And I was like halfway and Julian told me like, hey, this word doesn't sound right. So I'm always researching. I, I do more than research on uh, the ingredients and I always pass them to my sister. We're always like kind of, hey, you and I'm a chocolate freak. So now I cannot have that chocolate. But uh, now now we found, which what's the name? Uh, peanut butter and coke. That's amazing. <laughs> yeah, that's that's our crazy cheat. So yeah, yeah, that's that's pretty much what happens, like uh, with weird words or that. But now we try. We have the app on our phone. Is it vegan or that? Yeah, yeah. we're always scanning it. We're yeah. crazy. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna tag that too. I'm gonna tag your Snapchats and also uh, is it vegan uh, app. Yeah, it's, it's really yeah, cool. We, we, we always try to tell people just to like, we, we all make mistakes. Like we, we, the simple thing is that we're trying to be vegan when you, so you're trying to. Yeah. So don't punish to her, yourself like, too hard if you do a, like, like a just, mistake. Don't, just don't, don't, don't repeat it. Like, yeah. Never again. <laughs> Stay away from that. So uh, it's so funny because Tatted Vegan just asked a question, which is kind of where I was going anyway. So he said, are there any other forms of fitness activities that you ladies enjoy or engage in outside of the gym? And my question was, um, what is something that you can tell us about yourself that you don't promote on your Instagram or your Facebook? I think we're pretty open, right, on Instagram and Facebook. Well, well for the fitness, we're uh, currently oh, yeah. really into uh, stretching. Uh, and uh, handstanding, we're trying to be like oh, handstand doing the, the splits. Yeah, we're really trying to be more flexible. We're we're trying on some uh, calisthenic moves and all that. So we're, we're gonna post videos so you laugh because right now we're not so flexible and it's funny to see the progress. We'll yeah, so we're there. we're trying, and we also go on our bikes every day to work and all that. So we love uh, doing the bike. And uh, yeah, we try to stay active as much as we can. We do and dancing at night too. Yeah, we, we love dancing. <laughs> we have a huge mirror like right in front of us, so we like to dance. You know? <laughs> yeah, I'm so, super into dancing. I love dancing. Yeah, yeah it's, we need to go dancing on that party, in your party. <laughs> We're going to have so much fun, you guys. I know. God, come to Mexico anytime, please. I would love that. So, um, I can't believe it's already been an hour. Like, I feel like if I didn't have to vomit, I could totally talk to y'all for another two hours. <laughs> we'll, we'll do another one when we didn't party hard. That's very important. Yeah, I'm all fresh. I, I did sleep. <laughs> you girls. I love that. So do y'all feel like the world will ever go vegan? Or y'all kind of... Yeah, we do. While? We're always saying that veganism is the future. And we really believe, like, oppression will not last, like, forever. You know, like, it's... It's a movement and it's growing so fast. Yeah, so um, we do believe in uh, law of attraction. That's the only like religion that we practice. So if you think and your heart is pure, no, I mean, no. <laughs> if you think hard enough, <laughs> she's, she's hard in France. <laughs> if you, yeah, no, shut mm -hmm. up. If you, if you think hard enough and really, really believe it, like I think you can project it to the universe. And it's so many people waking up. Like it's. It's yeah. amazing. So every time we will go into the aisle of the supermarket and we see uh, like you vegan product. product, it's crazy. Like, like we love it. Three years ago, you wouldn't even know what the vegan word was, you know? So yeah, it's, right. the change is coming. Yeah. So it, it makes me feel even better when you're at the supermarket and then you see someone buying it. You know, <laughs> we're you vegan? Vegan? Yes. 
<laughs> but I always want to go to the people that are buying meat and you're like, hey, that's no food, it's murder. And but I, I mean, just for that, like they're gonna kick me out of instead of buying these cheese, buy this vegan option, maybe like something like that, right? <laughs> yes, that would be awesome. I don't think I have the balls to do that yet, but I feel like y'all kind of do. No, the three of us do it. Yeah. You should come to fly and we should totally do it. Just vegan and do a video. <laughs> Okay, I'll do it when I come out there, I swear. <laughs> what are two goals that both of you have for the year of 2016, and where can everyone reach y'all at? Well, I, I think we both want to compete uh, for the vegan, well, well as bo vegan, vegan bodybuilders. Body yeah. And we also want to, uh, well, like we said, launch our, our website, our web page. Yeah, because mm -hmm. we feel that will uh, keep us more connected and more in touch mm -hmm. with more people and get some more. So hopefully they'll get uh, they'll be done in this yeah definitely next month. we wanna like a goal or something that we need to get like just move to Playa we we really wanna go and switch and another one we're tr we're trying to go to states soon so we're getting our passports and everything done so hopefully we'll be in Miami going to maybe Miami or California or Los City. Angeles yeah so uh, New York City yeah hopefully we wanna connect with more people we know that. That's the place to be. So <laughs> I'm moving out to LA, and y'all should definitely. I mean, I know that La Playa sounds amazing. So if y'all ever yeah. get to come out to LA, y'all gonna have to be so many people out there. What an effort, yeah. But we we're definitely then we we need to go to LA. Oh, I'm just gonna. I just gotta take. It's hot. It's hot here too. <laughs> Hey, all you eight viewers, I'm just so blessed that y'all even watched us because, like I said, I'm barely hanging in here. You can find us on Facebook, Snapchat, Instagram, uh, YouTube, all under the name of Om Twins with a double E because it's one E for both. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, please contact us. We love uh, sharing and swapping stories and uh, singing games. <laughs> How cool would it be if I got Richard on here, Vegan Game? Yes, yes, do that. That will be super I'm cool. I'm going to write to him and tell him, like, you should definitely do it. Yeah. I, yeah, I actually just had John Lewis on here, and his episode is coming up next Tuesday. Cool. And uh, I'm trying to get Tori Washington, but uh, Tatted Vegan, you're next, bro. You're okay, next. Yay. Awesome. <laughs> no escaping. <laughs> Awesome. So we're just going to end this here and then I'm going to talk to y'all for a little bit. So uh, I just want to thank everyone for coming and joining us. And if you're watching this on YouTube, everything we talked about is linked. Of course, you can always find me on Instagram, Dark Sunshine, D A R K S U N S H number nine. And uh, we will see you. Go vegan, man. Go vegan, yeah. <laughs> Uh, weren't they just awesome? I feel like we should all go to Mexico and visit them immediately. But if you're interested in coming into the Generation Vegan event, you want to become vegan, or you want to be on the podcast, you can contact me at any social media. That's Dark Sunshine, D-A-R-K-S-U-N-S-H-9. I can't wait to meet you.